Welcome back Genshin F2Ps and Swipeys. We're here to talk about the new Dendro reaction that is going to ruin the current Genshin meta. Now, if you guys are like me and have the memory of a peanut, you guys didn't see the thumbnail. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think this reaction is. And also make sure to like and subscribe to the channel as we're nearing close to 1,000 subscribers. With that out of the way, let's talk about the newest Dendro polymorphic reaction introduced in Genshin 3.0 called Bloom. Now, understandably, many of you guys are wondering, Josh, why are you saying that Bloom is going to ruin the Genshin meta? Let's first go over how to incite a Bloom reaction, and then we'll go over the implications of said reaction from there. So we have some little, I don't know what these ox puppy things are, and we're going to shoot them with some Dendro here. And right after, we're going to apply a Hydro. And that is going to leave this little seed here called the Bloom Reaction. Now, from said Bloom Reaction, if not reacted with, it will explode with little Dendro damage like you guys just saw there. But if we reacted with, it'll produce extra polymorphic reactions. This one being Burgeon. Now, you guys might be wondering, Josh, I'm not terribly sure what you mean, and I don't know how this would ruin the Genshin meta. What makes you say so? Let's talk about what the Bloom reaction actually does in terms of elemental application. So, let's start to apply the Dendro element once again. After I res my characters, so then we can have a fresh new plate. So here we are. Ow! Oh! They don't have anything on them. And now we're going to apply Dendro. And then, look at that. It washes away the reaction, yet leaves the Bloom reaction there. And as you can see, the Hydro reaction, or the Hydro element, is actually displaced off of the enemy. This is a problem for a couple of reasons. How we've been able to apply Hydro before actually doesn't necessarily work with the starting dendro chain naturally how we're able to apply reverse vaporizes freezes and electro charge is that we applied hydro first and then we were able to apply the other elements afterwards this poses a problem with the consistency of a lot of the more meta comps that we've come to know i.e the vaporize comps melt comps slash freeze comps and also electro charge However, this chain of reactions doesn't necessarily net in a loss. So in this example against the Maku Kenki, I'm also able to apply a hydro ending vaporize, not reverse vaporize, but regular vaporize right after I apply the burgeon. And because there's so many steps to these polymorphic reactions, is it viable for us to just ideally go into a rainbow styled comp? Dendro, Hydro, Pyro, maybe, you know, Cryo or, or some other element? Sure, the Bloom element, as I said earlier, and I stand by it, does ruin the current meta of Genshin. However, it does introduce us to a whole new chain of reactions that will allow us to explore different styles of comps. Or is it better that we just stick to one or two elemental types? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the Bloom reaction. I think it's going to be very, very interesting. But what do you guys think of the Bloom reaction and its subsequent team compositions? Let me know down below in the comments and make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. And that's gonna be it for me today. Your Genshin Specialist, Josh out.